Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg and welcome to a Tarot Moment from the School of Oracles. In this segment, we're going to take a peek at the Fool card. The Fool is the first card of the Major Arcana. Its number is zero. And that means that the zero, which is the ellipse of spirit, represents the no thing, which is one of the names of God. When something is no thing in particular, it also means it's everything. And the fool is everything and everywhere. Therefore, no matter what system you use and whether they place the fool at the beginning, the end, or in the middle of the deck, they're right, because it is. Spirit permeates everything. And this is the card that represents the presence of the Holy Spirit. The fool is drawn as a young person and really rather androgynous. In fact, many times they refer to it as the holy androgyne because spirit is neither masculine nor feminine, or we could say both, really. It's young because spirit is always young. You'll notice in the card that there is a rising sign behind, a sun behind it, representing that the sun is also spirit. And notice how the fool's staff is in direct alignment with one of the rays of the sun. The sun is rising in the east because spirit is not at its zenith. As soon as something's at its zenith, then it starts to go downward. And so they show in this card a young person, a rising sun, the way spirit is forever fresh. In Kabbalah, they believe that the world is not only been created by the divine, by God, but it is constantly being created. The fool is represented or is allied with the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. There are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet and 22 major trumps. And in Kabbalistic tarot, which is kind of what I'm talking about here, the meaning of the card draws so much of its meaning from the Hebrew letter and all of the associations that were given to that letter. This letter is Aleph. Aleph is a humble letter that actually has no real sound. Its sound is the sound of breath. And in the Kabbalistic lore, they say that when God was putting the alphabet together, it was humble Aleph who didn't even come forward to request being the first letter that they gave this place of honor. And it sounds like the sound of breath being expelled. I say that because Aleph is associated with the divine life breath, the Ruach Elohim, because it is the fiery or scintillating intelligence, says the Kabbalah. It is the fire, the breath that brings life into our body. The fool, if you meditate on it, meaning all you have to do is put it in front of you and gaze at it for five minutes at a time, allow yourself to let your eyes roam over it, and it will sort of rise up off the page, and in some way it will enter you and stimulate your own unconscious. It will bring to you a kind of spiritual effervescence. It raises your spirits, it encourages creativity, and new cycles of life. The fool is an archetype of spirit, and it is found in all cultures in different forms. And like all archetypes, it has a higher and a lower polarity. In its highest polarity, this card will represent for you, many times in a reading, originality, spiritual motivation, leaping into a new phase of life. On the lower polarity, well then it really could be foolishness, eccentricity, uh, wild crazy schemes, and uh, really taking chances and leaping before you look. This card, this fool, is about to walk right off the side of a cliff. It means that it shows us spirit descending gladly down into the world of manifestation. It comes down here, but you have to be a little bit of a fool if you know life on planet Earth to take an incarnation on this planet because this is not an easy place. But meditating on a 
card like a fool to lift your spirits, bring spirit closer to you, is the best antidote. Mm -hmm.